We have our old soul here. She's got her candle, her tea, and her old copy of Tortoise and the Hare. And uh, doing an adult coloring book. Doing pretty good, Lex. Thanks. Ready to do your math lesson? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> Me and Lex are here. We are doing level two of the Good and the Beautiful Math. The new Simply Good and Beautiful Math. How are you liking it so far? Good. Is math one of your favorite subjects? Mm, yeah, but handwriting is my favorite. Handwriting is your favorite? Ready to do a math lesson? Yeah, okay. What are some of your favorite things you've been learning so far this year? Um, of math? Mm-hmm. Um, well, double digit, um, 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 addition double digit addition mm -hmm. it's big girl math huh mm -hmm. yeah and you like you like money too yeah you're really good at counting money that one came like second hand huh yeah. or second nature <laughs> here we have the simply good and beautiful math it is just one course book as opposed to the old one which was two course books and then this is the math box it came with a clock, but this honestly broke like the first day that we used it. And so here are all the manipulatives you need for the entire year. I love these little, there's like a train and a plane and a rocket, helicopter, so cute. So you can kind of see all the different manipulatives they have there. Okay, babe, so we are learning the concept of adding numbers with three or more digits. Look at that number right there. Wow. Mm. What do you think? Um, um, it's pretty hard. I think it's pretty hard. Is it a little intimidating? Yeah. That's okay. We can do it together. Okay start off with like a, a warm-up so um, she recently learned measurement so she is going to we're going to review this start with this and then we will get right into the lesson and then this will be her independent review for the day how many inches are in a foot um 12. how many feet are in a yard um three three good job okay the number 15 has two digits and a one and a five. The number 125 has three digits, a one, a two, and a five. When adding numbers with three or more digits, we will start with the ones, okay? Where's, there's the ones, and then we're gonna move left, okay? So point to the ones column for me. Mm. Where's the tens column? Mm. And where's the hundreds column? Good, okay? So we're gonna do it just like two digit, only we're gonna add one more. We got this, right? Yeah. Um, and four plus three equals seven. Mm -hmm. The sevens are backwards, but. Mm -hmm. okay. So you've got all those right now. We're going to try the problems again by regrouping or carrying. Okay, can you do that one? So let's try this first one. Oh. Two, three plus five equals eight. Three plus three equals six. So you did this, um, you brought the one all the way over here. So we're going to bring the one up here. So one plus three is what? I don't get it. So pretend that that wasn't there. What would you do? Uh, I don't know. Good. All right, let's try the last one. Eight. Wait, four plus four equals eight plus the one up there equals? Nine. Nine, yep, perfect. And then? Two equals four. Good. Four. Good. So next we're gonna complete the problems below which add three digit numbers with two digit numbers, okay? So here's the thing. If there is a blank spot, imagine it's a zero. So you don't have to write zero if it's blank, okay? Just, can I write it? You can, but you don't have to. Okay. That's not how you really do, yeah. So she said this has helped her to just write a zero there and that way it helps her keep all the things in the place value, all the digits in their own place value. All right, Lexi, start with whichever one you want to start with. You flew through this problem in about 12 seconds. What do you think? 
Mm. It wasn't so bad, was it? Mm -mm. Yeah, so once you get the hang of it, then you can do any number. You could just keep adding and adding it. Up. So mm. it's the number is 5,782,376. You won't know that yet. You'll learn that later. So they're just showing you that you can add any two numbers together, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're done with Lexi's lesson for the day, like for the part that I teach her. And so now she is doing an independent section. They always have, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get the pencil out of your mouth. Um, they always have an independent section and it's anywhere from one to two pages. It just depends on what they're learning. So she's gonna do that right now. And then I check her work afterwards and any corrections she needs to make she does pretty much right away most of the time you don't have any corrections right but yesterday I just did yesterday you did it's okay can't always be perfect all right the numbers on the runway that are all numbers so mm, she's 330 gonna... three. yep three Round uh, the the number on each belt up to ten or down to zero and ride it on the thing. So what am I supposed to do? So um, you're going to round each number on the sail or each number on the boat, and on the sail you're gonna round it to either zero or ten. Oh, okay. Circle the hanger uh, numbers that are greatest than 12. Two and 14. Okay. Uh, write the number word for each plane number. Okay. N I N T E E. Check your diff problems with subtraction. That's what I you just... learned yesterday, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do that. So remember what has to match up. Oh yeah, okay, I know. Okay, three the green boxes. Two, seven minus three equals four. Okay, done. All done? Hold the Oops. Oops. Let me check it first. So normally I uh, let her do her independent work by herself and then I check it. Right now I was just right next to her. Um, today's lesson seemed a little bit shorter than normal, would you say? Yeah, but yesterday too. Yesterday too. So she recently did a unit assessment and they are laid out a little bit differently than the first, um, than the original, the good and the beautiful math. So how it works is they give the child a section and if they don't do well on that, um, then the next day you just have them work on whatever section that they did not complete. And so it, it is broken down into two days, but um, I thought it was a different approach. So here is the sec so you can see these are the things that they have learned this so far in the first unit. And again, she got all these right, so I didn't have her go again and fill them out because she got them all right the first time. But had she messed these up or something, I would have her go back and do these the next day. Um, so doubles addition, regrouping. We have learned subtraction with two digit, no, two digit numbers, some calendar work, more calendar work, um, time, ordinal positions, rounding. Um, greater than or less than coins, doubles in subtraction, creating patterns, and that was it. And now she is on to lesson, I'm sorry, she's on to unit two. So those are the things that they have covered thus far in unit one. So I feel like it's moving along at a pretty good pace. She's only ever done the good and the beautiful math. She did um, level K and then level one last year, and then she was able to transition really well from the old math into the new math, no problems. We're about 40 lessons, 38 lessons in, and there's been, she's been doing great. Do you think so? Yeah. Mm. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Hello guys. Um, and I wanted to share with you um, the beautifulness 
of good and the beautiful too. Um, so, um, this is my math box. I'm in grade two, um, second grade, I mean, third grade, but mom just skid moon me out. Um, anyway, these are my math things. Um, by the way, I'm really videoing. <laughs> um, and we're gonna do my math lesson today. Um,